So today what we're going to talk about is the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. So I would like you to put me on pause, do the try this, which is divide using synthetic division. Okay, so put me on pause and give it a try and then come back and check your answer. Okay, so uh, remember, so when we do synthetic division, so I have in here 2x squared plus 10x plus 12 divided by x plus 3. So I'm going to draw my bar here, put my negative 3 on the outside. Remember, it's opposite the sign that's on the inside of your binomial. And then I take all my coefficients and I have 2, 10, and 12. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this 2 straight down. And now I'm going to multiply th negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Add straight down, so 10 minus 6 is 4. Now I multiply negative 3 times 4 and I get negative 12. Add straight down, and I get 0. So what I get is 2x plus 4. And notice I have a remainder of zero. So remember, and we're going to talk more about this today, is that since my remainder is zero, then x plus three is actually a factor of this. And then this, and then what that means is that this is actually a factor also. So we're going to talk about that today later. All right, so let's talk about the remainder theorem. So if a polynomial, f of x, is divided by x minus k, so like I just did up top, the remainder is f of k. So you can use synthetic division to do f of k. So let's say I have f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 5x minus 7, and I want to find f of negative 2. Well, you can use synthetic division to, act, division to actually do f of negative 2. So I'm going to put negative 2 on the outside, put down my coefficients, which are 3, 8, 5, and negative 7. And now I'm first going to bring down the 3, so I get 3. So negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So 5 minus 4 is positive 1. And then negative 2 times 1 is equal to negative 2. And negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9. So that's my remainder. So what this means is that f of negative 2 is equal to negative 9. It's equal to my remainder. Okay, so whatever you're dividing by out here is going to be equal to your remainder as, you're, as you evaluate that function. So now let's check it, because we learned old school by taking this and plugging it in for x, so let's check it. So here's my function, f of x is equal to um, 3x cubed plus 8x squared plus 5x minus 7. I'm looking for f of negative 2, so we plug it in. 3 times negative 2 cubed plus 8 times negative 2 squared plus 5 times negative 2 minus 7. So f, so plug that in your calculator, just plug the whole thing in your calculator at one time, you get f of negative 2 is equal to negative 9. So I do get the same exact thing. So f of whatever number is out here is the same thing that will give you your remainder. Okay, so let's um, flip it over and we will talk about the factor theorem. Okay, so the factor theorem. A polynomial f of x has a factor of x minus k if f of k is equal to 0, so which means there is no remainder here. All right, so it, I have here, so we already know this. You actually learned this last year in Algebra 2, and I, we went over it already this year. So that, but it's just called the factor, factor theorem. And what we can do with this is when we have a polynomial, some crazy polynomial like this down here, we could actually factor this even though you, we, we didn't actually learn a particular way to factor this crazy type of polynomial. All right, so let's look at this polynomial. It says show x minus 7 is a factor of 2x squared minus 11x minus 21. All right, so I'm going to use synthetic division. You can use long division if you want. So it's 7, set it up, 2, negative 11, negative 21. Okay, bring down the 2. 7 times 2 is negative 14, uh, positive 14, sorry. So negative 11 plus 14 is 3. 7 times 3 is 21. 
negative 21 plus 21 is equal to 0. So my remainder, so this actually should have an A in there, remainder, sorry. I just saw that typo in here, remainder. The remainder is 0. And when you have a remainder of 0, so let's put this down, since my remainder is 0, then x minus 7 is a factor. And then since that's a factor, then this is what I know. And, and that if I take 2x squared minus 11x minus 21, and x minus 7 is a factor, so x minus 7 is a factor, I know my other factor is this polynomial here, which is 2x plus 3. All right, so let's try um, like a bigger polynomial down here, a longer polynomial, a higher power polynomial. All right, so this says show that x minus 2 and x plus 3 are factors of this polynomial right here. All right, so let's start with the x minus 2. So I'm going to write 2 on the outside, positive 2, set it up. So I have 2, 7, negative 4, negative 27, and negative 18. All right, so I bring down the 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, 7 plus 4 is 11. 2 times 11 is 22. So negative 4 plus 22 is positive 18. And now 2 times 18 is 36. So negative 27 plus 36 is 9. And then 2 times 9 is positive 18. And negative 18 plus 18 is 0. So therefore, this x minus 2 is a factor. So now, what I could do is now check this here, x, minus, x plus 3, with this polynomial that I just made. Because this here, this polynomial, has a factor of x minus 2. And then I know my other factor is this here so far. So that would be 2x uh, cubed uh, plus 11x squared plus 18x. Oh, I kind of ran out of room, sorry. Plus 18x. And then I have plus 9. So that's actually my other factor. So now I want to factor this guy here. So now I could do that with x plus 3. So I'm going to, so I'm going to put negative 3 on the outside. And then I'm going to use the other coefficients, which are 2, 11, 18, 9. And I don't need the 0, right? Because remember, that's my remainder, right? So I have no 0 back over in here. All right, so I bring down the 2 to start off. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. 11 minus 6 is 5. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. 18 minus 15 is 3. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. And 9 minus 9 is 0. So that's my remainder. So therefore, I know x plus 3 is also a factor. So this is what I have so far. So I have, uh, I started off with this polynomial. Sorry. 2x to the 4th plus 7x to the 3rd minus 4x squared minus 27x minus 18. And I know that x minus 2 is a factor. x plus 3 is a factor. And remember, when I did my synthetic division, this is what I'm left with. So that would be 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. So now, here I have this polynomial that's a trinomial, and I know how to factor trinomials. All right, so we do a uh, master product. I'm just going to move everything up. Okay, so I multiply the first times the last. I get negative 6x squared. So what multiplies to 6 minuses to 5? That would be, sorry, this is positive 6. So what multiplies 6 as to 5 would be 2x and 3x. The same signs, they're both positive. So I bring down the plus 3, bring down the 2x squared. GCF is 2x times x plus 1. Positive 3 is the GCF times x plus 1. 
So my factors are 2x plus 3 and x plus 1. And don't forget I have these factors. So it's x minus 2, x plus 3, 2x plus 3, and x plus 1. So th these here, so these are my factors. These are my factors. Oh. Okay, so these are my factors of that big polynomial that I started off with. Now, if I want to find the zeros, well, I set it equal to zero and I do my t-chart, I get x equals 2, x equals negative 3, x equals, well, minus 3 divided by 2, I get negative 3 halves, and x is equal to negative 1. So what I just did here was I found my zeros for this polynomial. Okay, so that's it. We'll practice in class tomorrow. Have a good night.